Me and Mum always say, like, I wish there was ten more years with you, and we can just... Daddy's saying, what if it was ten years ago when I died? And then we think, yeah, I don't think... We're lucky. Yeah, we're really lucky that we could have um, that long with him. Worldly wise, but with the innocence of an eight-year-old, the remarkable Bindi Irwin is fulfilling the promise she made in a moving eulogy to her father just three months ago. I don't want Daddy's passion to ever end. I want to help endangered wildlife just like he did. I had the best Daddy in the whole world, and I will miss him every day. Cooking with Steve-O and Bindi. With her beloved dad as her co-star, the pocket-sized performer and her mum, Terry, have found strength in carrying on the Irwin tradition of entertaining in a fitness DVD for kids. Watch me stray, just in grey, all the way from my head to my toes. What's your favourite part of the DVD when you look at it? Favourite part of the DVD when I look at it? Um, I really like the cooking with my dad because it brings back so many memories. That's the best thing about cooking in car keys, mate. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Sorry. All washable. Mate, sorry baby. about that, Dad. Ah, just, that's a slip. Not a problem. Yeah. Um, it, it was really cool because we got to do all those things and at the end of it, we just crack up laughing at ourselves. In the oven. You can see our muffins whoo, are cooked. Oh, I can see a disaster happening. I think your daddy was good at a lot of things, but I'm thinking cooking was not one of them. Yeah, my my mum, my mum can um she can't really cook either. So. <laughs> <laughs> now Just... the truth of the matter is, Steve was a really good cook, and in fact, if. Um, if the truth be known, he cooked some fantastic things. He was a master at the Barbie, of course, like every good Aussie bloke, but he also cooked a lot of wonderful curries, and um, I miss that. I miss it. I'm probably going to lose a lot of weight. It's been a while since we've heard from you. I guess we've left you alone. How are you getting on? Oh, I've just been taking one day at a time and working really hard at it. I think uh, for me, I have been seeking a lot of help. Um, I've spoke, spoken to a psychologist, I've been reading a lot of great material, and I've been working really hard at honoring my grief, at um, grabbing little glimpses of joy, appreciating my kids, and thinking, I think to myself, if things had been the other way around and I were gone and Steve was here with the kids, I'd really want him to carry on as, as if I were still here. You've, you've been very upfront about saying that you've seen a psychologist. Mm -hmm. Was it difficult for you to do? Oh, it was very easy for me to do. We need to be allowed to grieve and, and feel our emotions and by the same token, if we're having good times, we need to not apologize for that either. Bindi's nodding her head at everything that you're saying and, and seems to understand everything that mm -hmm. you're saying. Clearly you've talked about this a lot. Yeah, we have. We, yeah. Um, it's good because mother and daughter, um, we find that talking to each other, we can talk about anything with each other, mm. so it's really nice. Bindi's been really good at, um, at lifting me up when I have a hard day, and, and I hope the other way around. I know Bindi gave me, gave me this one day. She said, are you having a bad day? And she got me this bracelet. And do you remember why you got me the bracelet? Because you were having a pretty bad day. And because it glows in the dark. So that makes it extra cool. I love the kid factor. It's not just a bracelet, Mom. It glows in the dark, so it's really cool. But it did cheer me up, so I wear it. Clearly you're close and you always have been, but I bet you've developed a, an extra radar too through all of this about you, each other's feelings. Would that be fair to say? Yeah, I think you do. Yeah. And I think it's important also not to forget someone who's passed. So every morning we sit down with a home movie or what are some of the other things we've watched? Um, we've watched like the movies that my dad, my dad's made. It makes like, you feel better to watch Diaries. Daddy on TV? Yeah, it does. It makes you feel like he's still there and he's... He's, he's really watching over you and it makes you feel like, ooh, that's my daddy and I love him very much. That says, wildlife warrior. Oh, I think Bindi and Robert are so amazing because first of all, they're so much like Steve. Um, I was looking at a picture of Steve the other day when he was a little boy hanging in a tree. Robert goes, that's me. Because he looks so much like daddy. I know, he looks like, 
this little mini daddy walking around. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what you think when you look at Robert? Yeah, I just, I just see the little mini daddy walking around. <laughs> Is it getting better, do you think? For me, I think um, not only is it difficult dealing with grief, but what they don't tell you is you miss them more every day. Um, but we're getting there, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We're getting there. Um, it's, it's, it's really bumpy, like my mom said. There's, it's a hard time that we're going through, but all bad things must come to an end. Yes. And all bad things can get a little bit better. It'll always be in our mind, but it'll, it'll always get a bit better. I wish you a very Merry Christmas. I know that the rest of Australia joins me in wishing you that. It's been lovely to talk with you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Best too. of luck to you both. Thank, Thank you, you Tracy. Very much.